People who attend the Ohio State University or the citizens of Columbus, Ohio, you know what to do. OH. Noah Ohio is up next on Scout and Report, a 20 year old Dutch forward who plays for Standard Liège in Belgium. He's named after a state. So that might be a chant that you can think about having in England. Named after a state, named after a state. Noah Ohio is named after a state. You can't say US state because it's too many syllables. But Noah Ohio is up next on Scout and Report. This guy has already been mentioned by a few analysts on Twitter. I'm now going to be talking about him because that's all I ever really do. I just talk about players that I write down in this red book that's here. So what are we going to need to know about this Dutchman who is named after the state with major cities such as Columbus and Cincinnati? Noah Ohio was born in the Netherlands and moved to England as a child. He's actually eligible to play for three countries, England, the Netherlands and Nigeria. He played for Manchester United and then Manchester City's academies as a child. Ooh, so much for loyalty, man. You know, Cole Palmer did the same, by the way. There's pictures of him wearing United kits. So um, don't tell City fans. Chelsea made that clear. Anyway, in 2019, at the age of 16, he moved to RB Leipzig. They then loaned him out to Vitesse, that club that Chelsea loves to loan its players out to, and also Austria Wien. He joined Standard Liège in 2022. So he's been at some of the best academies in England, to be fair. Staying in the northwest with Manchester United and Manchester City, learning a few things and then going abroad. Seems wise and seems like, well, sensible kind of thing to do. I can tell you this, when I saw him play, I saw a versatile player. Ohio can play as a winger or as a second striker, actually. And the one trait I like about him is his acceleration. He avoids contacting defenders and likes to pass them quite easily. He acts as a support to the striker and provides side passes, cutting into the box to do this. And when he cuts in, it's usually done with a lot of composure and a little bit of agility as well. How he avoids getting the ball taken off him, though, this I like, and it's something he's good at. He avoids being dispossessed because he flicks the ball ahead of him quite far and then really turns on the Jets to keep it. He can easily move into vacant spaces and then continue the attack as a result. Usually I've seen him trying to get marked by fullbacks and then a left-footed centre-back in the process. The two can't do it because he'll cut in too hard He'll get the ball past them quite easily and then use his support network to keep the ball. Um, this is what I'd rave about, this guy. Someone, again, for West Ham to consider as a winger option. Because we're going to need one. And someone who's named after a US state is more than good enough, in my opinion. 